Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at percent change, percent of change with percent decrease. We're going to answer the question, how can I calculate the percentage that something decreases? So percent of change is what we're going to be calculating. It describes the change over time, either by an increase or a decrease or discount. It is the percent by which something changes from the original to the new. Today, we're specifically looking at percent decrease or going down, such as 15 to 20 or 90 to 72. So to calculate a percent decrease, you will determine the original and the new. And then you want to find the change between the original and the new by subtracting. Then we will set up a percent proportion to solve for the percent of change. We will put that change that we found by subtracting over the original amount and set it equal to X over 100 because that missing percent of change value is what we're gonna be looking for. So let's look at number one. It says a hat is marked down from $35 to 28. What is the percent of change? So my original price is 35. Original was 35 and then it changed to 28. So to find the change, I will do 35 minus 28, which is seven. So now I have my original and I have my change. So I can set up the proportion of seven over 35 equals, I don't know how much out of 100. And now I'm gonna solve this proportion to determine the percent decrease. The first thing I'm gonna do is simplify this fraction. Both of these numbers are divisible by seven. And then my new ratio is one out of five equals X out of 100. And now I'm gonna cross multiply to solve. One times 100 is 100. And five times X is five X. And then I divide by five and I get that 20 equals X. So that means that there is a 20% decrease in the price of the hat. Okay, let's look at number two. Jonathan was making $16 an hour at his job. He changed jobs and makes $14 an hour at his new job. What is the percent of change? So the original that he was making was $16 an hour. And then he changed jobs and now he's making $14 an hour. So to find the change, I'll do 16 minus 14, which is two. So now I have the original and the change. So I can set up my percent proportion, two out of 16 equals some percent out of 100. And now I'm gonna solve this. The first thing I'm gonna do is divide both of the numbers in this first ratio by two to simplify, and I get one out of eight equals X over 100. And then I cross multiply, and one times 100 is 100, and then eight times X is eight X. And then I divide by eight and 100 divided by eight is 12.5. So that means that there was a 12.5% decrease when Jonathan changed jobs. Okay, let's look at number three. On Monday, Ron spent 60 minutes reading his favorite book. On Tuesday, he spent 45 minutes reading this book. What is the percent of change? So the original would be on Monday, he spent 65 minutes reading this book. Sorry, 60 minutes, not 65. And then on Tuesday, he spent 45 minutes reading the book. So to find the change, I would do 60 minus 45, which is 15. So I have the original, I have the new, now I can set up my percent proportion. It'll be 15 out of 60 equals X out of 100. And now I'm gonna solve this. First thing I'm gonna do is simplify this ratio. Both of the numbers are divisible by 15. And that fraction simplifies to one out of four equals X out of 100. Okay, now I'm gonna cross multiply to solve. One times 100 is 100, 
and four times x is four x, and then I divide by four, and I get that 25 equals x. So that means that there is a 25% decrease in the time that Ron spent reading from Monday to Tuesday. Okay, let's look at number four. Chuck's used car lot sold 200 cars last month. This month, they will only sell 125 cars. What is the percent decrease from last month to this month? So the original was how many cars he sold last month, which was 200. And then we want to find the change from 200 to the 125 they sold this month, which is 75. So now I'm ready to set up my proportion. Original was 200, change was 75, so it'll be 75 out of 200 equals, I don't know what percent out of 100. So first thing I'm going to do is simplify that ratio. 75 and 200 are both divisible by 25. So then I get three out of eight equals X out of 100. Now I'm going to cross multiply, 3 times 100 is 300, and 8 times x is 8x. And then I'm going to divide by 8, so I need to do 300 divided by 8, and I get 37.5. So that means that there was a 37.5% decrease from last month to this month. Okay, let's look at number five. A world famous donut shop opened a second location in Cedar Park, Texas. Their first week opened, they had about 2,000 orders. Their second week opened, they had about 1,800 orders. What is the percent of change? So let's identify the original and the change. So the original would be their first week, they had 2,000 orders. And then to find the change, I will take that 2,000 and subtract the 1,800 from it, which is 200. So now I have my original and my change. So I can set up a proportion of 200 out of 2,000 equals X out of 100. And 200 and 2,000 are both divisible by 200. So this simplifies to 1 out of 10 equals X out of 100. And now I'm going to cross multiply. 1 times 100 is 100. And 10 times X is 10X. And then I divide by 10. And I get that 10 equals X. So that means that they saw a 10% decrease from the first week to the second week. Okay, let's look at number six. It says Lily buys a healthier version of her favorite chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. The original ice cream she usually buys has 16 grams of sugar, while the healthier brand has eight grams of sugar. What is the percent of change? So her original ice cream has 16 grams of sugar in it. And let's find the change by doing the original, which was 16 minus the eight, which is what her new ice cream has. And we get eight. So now I can set up my percent proportion. The original was 16, the change was eight. So it'll be eight over 16 equals X over 100. I'm gonna simplify this ratio. Eight over 16 simplifies to one over two. And now I can cross multiply to solve. One times 100 is 100, two times X is two X, and then I divide by two, and I get that X is 50. So that means that Lily's ice cream is a 50% decrease in the amount of sugar it has in it.